Hi, it's Hinta from Cooking Fantasies and today's recipe is healthy banana bread with dates. It's very delicious, sugar-free and guilt-free. For the ingredients, we're going to need two ripe bananas, two eggs in room temperature, quarter cup of honey, two and a half tablespoons of walnut oil, third cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of baking soda, quarter cup of yogurt, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of soft dates, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and one and a half cups of flour. So first I'm gonna prepare the loaf pan and for this I will brush it with some butter. You can also use oil or margarine or cooking spray. The point is that the parchment paper sticks to the pan before we pour in the batter. This will prevent it from leaking while baking. So basically you're just gonna cut two pieces of parchment paper that would fit in your pan, cut them and just cover the, the pan with them. We're gonna prepare the batter and we're gonna first smash the bananas with a fork and it's important that the bananas are ripe and have been hanging around in your kitchen for at least a couple of days. Then we'll add all the wet ingredients to the smashed bananas and first we're gonna beat in the eggs. Then I'm gonna add the vanilla extract, the yogurt, and the oils. If you don't have walnut oil, you can use two and a half more tablespoons of olive oil or any other unflavored vegetable oil. Now I'm gonna add in the honey and keep mixing everything with a fork just until everything is well combined together. Now to prepare the dates, we're gonna cut them into small pieces. If you don't have soft dates and only the dry ones, you can soak them in some water for about 10 to 15 minutes and then use them with the water you have soaked them in because that has all the flavor. Now in a new separate bowl, I'll mix in all the dry ingredients, the flour, the salt, baking soda, and cinnamon. Whisk it a little bit all together and then add in the dates. Stir them in and keep mixing until all the little pieces are well covered in flour. This will prevent them from soaking to the bottom. I'm gonna pour the wet ingredients into the dry ones while stirring. And you shouldn't over stir the mixture, just enough until all the flour is well incorporated and then it's already time to stop. After you pour the butter on the baking pan, try to smooth it out a little bit on the surface. My oven is preheated to 175 degrees Celsius, that's about 340 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 50 minutes, if the toothpick comes out clean, it means the bread is ready and we take it out of the oven and we'll let it totally cool down on a rack. Make sure to peel off the parchment paper before you slice it up. You can save the bread for up to one week if you manage to. It stays soft and moist. I think it even tastes better the next day. You can enjoy it with some butter or just by its own. It tastes amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Uh, down in the comments. I will leave more information and the ingredients with the grams in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time with the next recipe and happy baking!